could go out and blast a very fast first 400. I think he'll settle in, as David was saying, really, see how the field sorts itself out, and then go with about 550 metres to go. But it's Coe they're all watching, and it's Coe that really is going to dictate how this race is formed, and he's certainly not gone off slowly. Coe's gone off at a reasonable pace, but he's now settling in with East German inside him. That's Olaf Bayer. And it's Bayer and Coe, and Coe's now taken the lead. Ovet moves up through into fourth place on the inside, and Coe's obviously decided to go for broke. 24.2 for the first uh, 200 metres. That's going to be a sub-50 for the first lap. Then Ovet, then Busser from East Germany. And everybody now can sit and follow my leader. He really is stretching out. It's the only way he really can win it, is using his amazing tempo. He's through sub-50, 49.32. And that's as fast as we've ever seen a championship field go through. This is astonishing running, and Coe's got the ability to press it on. And these four are clear. It's Ovet now pulling up on his shoulder. And Ovet looks so full of running, it's amazing. It's Coe and Ovet. And third place is Olaf Bayer. Bayer looks finished. Bus is still there, but it's the two Britons. 200 metres to go, and Ovet beautifully placed. And Coe is still pushing from the front but Ovet is there lurking and look how relaxed his hands are he looks as if he can kick off this kind of a pace it's unbelievable and look out there for Olaf Bayer of East Germany and it's between these two now and Bayer's going to come up on Ovet and Ovet is just about to the handle him oh Bayer's going to take it well we never expected that Bayer goes through and second place Ovet third place Co. we underestimated the power of Olaf Bayer second in the Europa Cup last year where he beat Sebastian Co. And Bayer had the strength down the home straight. 143.83, the second fastest time ever by a European. What a phenomenal run. Bayer looked to buckle down that back straight, but then he came back so strongly. And as Ovet swept around, Cole looked inside him, then looked out. But Ovet looked so relaxed here. But Bayer very, very strong. Ovet tremendously confident and until about 50 meters out I don't think he thought he could be beaten but Byers using those shoulders and powering his way down that home straight and it's Bayer who's got the muscle and the rhythm and the drive to get ahead of Ovet and Ovet's long striding just can't respond he can't raise anything more that's perhaps the penalty for running too many 1500s and not concentrating on his speed work so it's the East German who wins and Britain take the silver and the bronze.